Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Alexa Marie Pitts. Today, we are focusing on serving again. Now, I had so many people request another video. I did do a video on beginner friendly serve. Check that video out and then I want you to come back and watch this video. And I am going to top it off this time with stepping up your speed on your serve, trying to get more miles per hour on your serve and making sure that it's effective and that it's consistent. Before we get into that video, please hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment. Now let's get started on our serves. First things first, what we are going to be focusing on is the relaxation of the wrist. The relaxation of your wrist generates so much power. So the more relaxed you are, the more whip you can give the ball. Now you always want to keep a firm grip but you do not want to tense your wrist. If you tense your wrist, the ball will come off slower and it will not be as consistent as you would like it to be. So focusing on a loose wrist. First serve and second serve, loose wrist. So let's get into it. For these serves, I'm going to be taking it slow. I'm not even going to incorporate any foot movement. I'm not gonna incorporate any jumping. I just want you all to really focus on how I relax my wrist. That's my only focus today. Once I get into the rhythm of a loose wrist, once I really feel the feeling of what it's like to have a loose wrist, now I'm going to put everything together. When you focus on one thing at a time, try to get the feeling, it will help you more to develop a more better, stronger serve. So focus on one thing before you try to incorporate your legs or anything. Let's just focus on that wrist. Now the wrist snap is not supposed to forcefully happen. You're not supposed to force it. It's actually a result. So whenever you hear coaches talk about wrist snap, it's not something that you're supposed to force. That's when you become way too technical and it will result in an injury. So the wrist snap is a result of having a loose wrist. It's not a purposeful movement. So keep that in mind. Now for my high performance players out there, this loose wrist is very important on all types of serves. Whether you're kicking it, whether you're hitting flat, whether you're slicing your serve. So, like I said, it will help you so much with creating more control, more speed, and better consistency. Now that you've gotten a feeling of a loose wrist, now you can put it all together and do your whole service routine and tell me what it's like. Leave a comment. Let me know how does it feel um, and what differences it makes on your serve than before not having a loose wrist. So be sure to leave a comment, try it out, test it out, and I hope to hear from you all soon. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed this video about our serves and making it more powerful, more faster, and more consistent. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you haven't already, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a message. Let's interact, I would love that. So thank you all so much, and I will see you all next time. Bye.